Is that thing supposed to be a game character? Jeez, how insulting can he get? You'll have to destroy the outer shell first. Why, thank you for speaking the obvious there, Risa. Yes, in fact, we do have to d destroy the outer shell before we can get to the baby. Which means that uh, you have to do a lot, a lot of damage. And it can also do a lot of damage to you. Which is fucking shite. So let's uh, hit up with a mind charge first. Get Narakami nice and set up. There's not much we can do here. Increases defense. And that's pretty much all that Kanji can do. He does not have Zeodyne, unfortunately. So we'll just go ahead and do a kill rush. For an opening attack. Pretty decent. The shell is... Uh, uh, I don't like it. It gives me PTSD every time I see it. Um, let's see. Hit evasion rate. And that's all he has as well. He also doesn't have his strongest wind attack. So we'll just go ahead and hit with a Garula. Free Karm. Let's go with an Ajidai. And it can also get multiple hits in with... Well, multiple attacks in, and it's bullshit. I don't like it. Not at all. Go so IG9, full power. 639, beautiful damage. We'll go ahead and hit with a mighty swing. For a nice crit. All out attacks are pretty much what you're going to be using for your main source of damage. We'll go ahead and hit with a Sonic Punch. Why not? 77 damage. Yeah, we shouldn't have done that. Ajidine. 260. Pretty damn good. And now he has Fire Resistance. I... Do not have anything with fire break. I don't think so. I don't. Yeah, I do. I have Undyne. We'll switch to Undyne then. Pop up that fire break. Do another mighty swing. Hopefully, it gets crit. Nope. Taking its uh, fire resistance off is really good, since Yukiko will help a lot. It hasn't been quick yet, so I don't know what you're talking about. Just because you have the shell uh, destroyed doesn't mean it can't rebuild it. Yep, no problem. Uh, we'll go ahead and switch off back to Black Frost. Hit up another Mind Charge. Get for a Cruel Attack. So that damage, 99 really. Too good defense.
I really should heal. Let's do the heal. Pretty sure it uh, takes three of the baby's turns to fully restore the the armor. I just cannot find the words. 273, pretty good. We're doing Mighty Swing. There we go, now it's broke. Do enough damage to it, and you can do another all-out attack. I don't know why I was terribly worried about the damage I was going to be putting out, but... Maybe it's just, like I said, the PTSD talking. And that's also a problem because it has two straight turns it can do anything with. It's kind of bullshit. Uh, which means I don't really want to waste for a mind charge when I can just use damage really quick. Break the shell before it ha even has a chance to go. And rebuild it. I should have healed for Kanji's sake, but it's fine. Alright. It did not decide to fix its shell all the way, which is good. And fear is a bastard. We're almost done, we're almost out of the out of it. There we go, we're not going to get an all-out attack, are we? Nope. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and do a Meteorama for Kanji. And then we'll hit the baby with Cruel Attack. Nope, it gets a turn before that. Shit. He's always scared. He's scared of everything. It's fine. Change out for Undyne again. Fire break. Undyne was a really good decision to bring along to make because of that. Damn it, you missed. Why? What'd you do that for? Just a little bit more, just another push. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's not fine. Forgot I was on Undyne. Fuck, now it has three goddamn turns. Oh, that's that's beautiful. I mean at least it doesn't heal itself. Right. Switch out to Black Frost again. I know I'm low on health, I realize that. Here goes. Can't risk another physical attack going wrong. This guy finally recovers. Good job. We'll just end this with pretty low health. It'll be fine. Okay, no. That thing is dead. There is no... There is no health on that thing at all. What is... why? Just... no. What? What? Heck, fucking excuse you. You're dead. You've got nothing. Why are you still alive?
Must have been a, gl a glitch. I don't know. <laughs> that was really dumb. Should have died when I when Yukiko threw her fan at it. Uh, finally awake, huh? You've been a major pain in our ass. What the? You guys? Who the hell are you guys? We came to capture you, rescue you. We came to talk to you. The police are after you. They think you're the one who killed King Moron and the other two. So, are you the killer? All the cases, all on me. <laughs> That's right, I did it! You piece of shit! And not just that bastard Moraoka, that stupid announcer, and the Konishi bitch, too! I killed all of them! It was all me! Where'd it go? What's going on? <laughs> it's gone. That frickin' monster disappeared. Take that, son of a bitch! <sighs> hey! He's exhausted. We need to hurry and get him out of here. Or we can just kill him now. Where am I? It's the real world, it's Junez in town. Can't you tell? Why am I here? What the hell are you guys? S stop it! Why did the TV... Hey! You seem confused from everything that happened, but we have a bunch of questions for you. First off, why did you do all this? Answer in ten words or less! <laughs> what the hell? Is that a costume? <laughs> What a loser. Get out of my face, you freak. The freak! Gah! Hold it, Teddy. You're not helping. Are you the killer? Did you really do it? Get off my back. I already told you. I did it. Why? How could you do such a thing? Three people are dead because of you. <laughs> Everyone's talking about it, right? It's a huge deal. And I did it. All of it. All by myself. You just wanted the attention? Then why did you target me and the others? How did you kidnap us? <sighs> Whoa, look who it is. <laughs> hey, Yuki. After all this time, now you want to talk to me? <laughs> what bullshit. Answer me. If you held a grudge against me, that's fine. But why the others? <laughs> What a joke. You're so desperate it hurts. I didn't care who I attacked. Everyone pisses me off. You what? You gotta be kidding me. You killed Senpai over nothing? You son of a bitch! I hope you're ready to get what's coming to you. <laughs> what, you gonna kill me? Kill you? It ain't gonna be that easy, you piece of shit. What you did can never be taken back. No, you're gonna own up to your crimes and pay for what you did. You ain't gonna be allowed to kick the bucket until you understand exactly what it is you've done. <sighs> Why, damn it! Why does she have to die because of this bastard? <sighs> Dude, the cops. 
Huh? What are you waiting for? Call the damn police! Yeah, you're right. Yosuke. Stop moping about. Call the police. Get it over with. Alright, everybody. Good game. Game's done. Over with. Y'all go home now. Uh, at least Adachi san seemed happy. Well, I guess this means our work is done. He did it all to draw attention. I, I can't get my head around that. It's just wrong. I mean, not that it would have been okay if he'd had a better reason. I know. Don't worry. It's finally over. Let's leave the rest to the police. My world will be peaceful again now. Yeah, I'm happy for you. We really went through a lot. Like scoring with guys. Oh, come on! Will you ever let it go? What? Scoring with guys? Y you don't need to know the details. I'm sure you'd like us to forget the sauna incident, too. Right, Kanji-kun? Uh... Well... That's not fair. I wanted to see everyone else's, too. That's right. We three are the only ones who saw everyone's secret. Hey, so what was Yosuke's like? Come on, it's about time you told us. Let's get this do. <laughs> Let's do it, man. It was embarrassing. I don't remember much. Pretty much like the rest. Come on, let's leave it at that. Speaking of which, nothing really happened in your case, huh? Nope, never had a shadow. I'm just a blank slate. Really? Wait, really? Is there something special about Senpai after all? Sensei is the man! And now that the case is solved, we won't be calling you leader anymore, will we? Oh yeah, it's kind of sad. Hey, why don't we have a celebration? We always have a rap party after we're done shooting. It's fun and it'll help give us some closure. Ooh, a party! That sounds great! Let's go all out! Ooh, ooh, I want to go to Yuki-chan's house. Gorgeous dinner, hot springs, table tennis, Yukata, Geisha, Fujiyama, full witness! You're right. Yukiko-senpai's family runs a hot springs inn. A hot spring that Yukiko-senpai baits into? I can see a little bit of blood coming out of your nose, Kanji. Calm down. Yourself. You're sounding like a creep. Well, it sounds like fun, but I don't think it's possible today. Yeah, it's summer vacation. All the rooms must be occupied. We can't do a sleepover. Maybe next time. I promise. Hey, why don't we hit your place instead? Oh, but will your uncle get suspicious? Like, why are you all celebrating? No problem at all. Alright, let's do this. You mind if Nanako is there? Then it's settled. Nanako-chan can join in too. Well, that's expected. She lives there. Oh yeah, if your uncle's a detective, he might not come home tonight. Nanako-chan might be getting hungry. Hey, then why don't we make dinner together? Wow, are you good at cooking, Senpai? God, no, we almost died. Well, sort of. Don't lie. What are you saying? Did you already forget the tragedy of the school camp out? We already told you that was an accident. She's right. We just got a couple of the ingredients wrong. Guys, please don't do this. I'm begging you, I don't need another trauma to deal with. Hey, I'm a good cook too. I'll make something for you, senpai. Ta 
Ta-da! Teddy has a great idea. Let's have a cooking battle. The winner will be crowned Iron Cook Inaba. A cooking battle? Now I'm even more worried. Sure, that sounds like fun. Aw, oh, but I'll win hands down. You sure you want to make it that easy? Dude, listen to me. For the sake of our stomachs, you have to cook something too. Help us, partner. You're our only hope. Then you can represent the guys' team. Nanako-chan will be our judge. I can be a taster too. Teddy can be a tester too. At the end, you're supposed to say, that was delicious, right? Woo! I'm getting all fired up. All right, let us advance forth into the grocery section downstairs. Charge! Juna's grocery department. You decided to call Nanako to tell her about the cooking competition. All you want, you just want an omelet with rice. That's it. Jesus. You can ask for anything Dried in the world. Omelet. An excellent choice, Nanako-chan. With a dish that simple, I doubt we'll get a second helping of Mystery Food X. Huh? What's wrong? Not that thing. <laughs> All right, let's go get our ingredients. Uh, if they're all making the same thing, why are they splitting up to different parts of the market? Looks like you'll need all the help I can give you. Hey, what kind of omelet are you making? I'll go get the ingredients for you. What kind of omelet should you make? Uh, orthodox, ketchup flavored, Asian American, soy flavored, herb filled, province style, or aromatic Mediterranean style? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's go aromatic. Everyone brought their basic ingredients to the cart. Foie gras? Quite an eye you got there, senpai. It's a must-have for my special omelet. Don't worry, I'll let you have a taste. Ooh, or maybe I could spoon-feed you. <laughs> Let's let's not get ahead of ourselves, please. Something so awful that words couldn't describe it. It was horrible. You poor dears. Who would do such a horrible thing? Well, right now it's you because <laughs> you're making an omelet out of uh Duck, or, duck or goose liver. Don't do that. Hurry, Saison. This is going to be the only chance you get to gloat. Is that clear? I'll crush you with one strike. Oh, <laughs> Yukiko, please. We're not. We're not in the competition yet. Just, just calm down. <laughs> there's plenty of. There's plenty of me to go around, baby. Whoa. You guys look like you're ready to enter the ultimate frying championship. Kanji-kun, that's alcohol! Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, where's Teddy? Miss, am I allowed to eat this? Of course you can, dear. Eat as much as you like. You're such a nice lady. 
<laughs> this one's ready too. Oh my, are you hungry for more? Here, I'll open this one too. You're so beautiful. Oh my, no, no I mustn't. I've got a husband and a son. Teddy, please calm down. <laughs> we, we didn't come here to get some cougars. We came here for food. But I really want this meat, and I want you to cook it, miss. Oh, I couldn't possibly. The manager would get so upset. I'm gonna knock the stuffing out of that bear. He's not in his bear suit. You can't knock any stuffing out of him. <laughs> Risa Chan was right. This celebration does make me feel like it's over. The case really has come to an end. <sighs> wow! It's really Risa Chan! I should go back over there soon. Are you going somewhere? Yep. Guys kept their promise. A promise? Oh. What if you made a promise with me? Could you stay then? A promise with Nana-chan? Um, a promise that you play with me. How about that? Sensei, you kept your promise with me, so I should go back over there. I forgot about all about that. So don't worry about it. But a uh, promise is a promise. It's not good to break them. Nigga, we already got it done. Doesn't mean you can't stay over here. It'll be lonely without you. You promised Nanako. Don't go, Teddy, please. Sensei. My promise with Nana-chan. I made a promise to play with her. Can I really stay here? It wasn't just my promise. Nana-chan made it with me. I'm really, really happy. Thank you. to keep so I want to stay here a little longer is that okay with you sir huh what are you talking about you're not going anywhere you can't just quit your job like that in any case if you left it's ready incoming food out of the way senpai who's ready to get food poisoning Jesus feel like a truck hit you Yosuke Nanako-chan to jump in and try these for us is kind of unethical. Don't look at us like that. Oh, so it's our job to taste it first. Make sure we can keep it down. Hey, that's mean. Then try mine first, Yosuke-senpai. It's guaranteed delicious. You don't mind me going first? Actually, I've been looking forward to yours. I mean, Rizette cooked it herself. Can you imagine how many guys would kill me if they found out? Well then, chow time! I... I... can't give this to Nanako-chan. Ooh, it's so delicious that you won't let anyone else have a bite? In any case, you should try eating it too. It's spicy. The spiciness and heat are like lava in your mouth. You can't taste or feel the foie gras at all. It's starting to taste like iron. For some reason, you sense a dull pain in your mouth as well. 
Did you put a nail in it? You can't give this to Nanako. Here, try mine next. I'd rather not. I'll take this one. Kanji, that's a lot. Hey, say something. Well, uh, how do I put this? It tastes really, um, boneless? What? That's not a word you use to describe taste. Does it taste good or not? Tell me. It doesn't seem to be dangerous, but you don't sense any flavors in particular. In fact, you don't taste anything at all. You can't even taste the ingredients. How could this be? Not good, uh, that's for sure. It tastes like... Like I'm eating plain oatmeal. It's pretty impressive that you put so many ingredients into a dish and it came out tasting like nothing. Your palate just isn't refined enough! Tastes good. This time, for sure. I'll give it a whirl. How is it? Wow! This tastes awful! <laughs> you have to try this, Yosuke! Dude, not after you say that. And yet you do it anyway. You didn't even use your fork. Ah, I see. You just used the... <laughs> what did you even use to eat that? Your hand just got all messed up, man. It does taste awful. Well, um... It's a huge improvement over the curry. Yeah, thanks for the consolation. I feel so much better. Yeah, they're right. They're totally right. It tastes awful. The try Risa Chans. I bet you anything mine tastes better than hers. Call the ambulance, get the stretcher. We gotta go to the hospital now. She's dead. Sure enough. One strike. Well, Yukiko and Chia's didn't taste good either. But at least theirs didn't cause any casualties. <laughs> it's a taste too subtle for kids. It's a mature flavor. You guys are just kids. I... I... Or she just doesn't want to hurt your feelings. Oh yeah. Did you make one too, Simpa? I did not. How dare you put words into my mouth? Actions into my mouth. You did? Oh. It's a little salty. Oh. But this tastes good too. It doesn't seem to have come out that well. Oh well. It's fine. Are you full, Nanako chan? We're still starving. If you're so hungry, then help yourself to an awful tasting omelet. Uh, I have a suggestion. You guys know about the festival they're holding in the shopping district, right? Why don't we all go? 
Oh, that sounds good. Whoa. Does that mean the girls will be wearing yukata? A festival? We'll bring Nanako-chan along, too. I can come? Of course, if you want. You actually can't because you have to hold down the fort in case anybody decides to break in. Uh, let's see. I, this, the, it doesn't fucking matter which one you choose. Really? Yay! <laughs> that settles it then. Festival food always tastes great for some reason. Even if it ain't anything fancy. Whew. We'll finally be able to get some edible food for once. You promised the others you'd go to the festival at the shopping district. The culprit has finally been caught. The rest is up to the police inquiry. The festival is on August 20th. You made sure not to forget this date. At the end of August. Perfect. All you can do for now is wait for the police to make their move. I don't know what I'm going to do today, to be honest. Oh, somebody's calling. Hello, it's me. Oh, hi, I. Uh, yeah, why not? Hmm. I don't have any moon, so... Ain't going to advance anytime soon, except for this one. Elkinus Station. You came here with I. So, what do you want to do? I'm getting kind of tired of this place. There's nothing left to do here. Why'd you invite me then? I agree. Huh? Hey, you're not allowed to get bored. I chose you to come here with me, so you better enjoy it. up. I didn't think you'd have time to be making small talk with other girls. Shut up. Oh, damn. Catfight, I believe you was talking to me. It's rude to interrupt. What's wrong with you? Did she look at me when she said that? Excuse you. Don't you dare talk to other girls when you're with me. I'm... okay. I'm not your boy toy, so... you know. Precious moments my ass. Don't lie to me. Welcome home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and save again. Wait, hold on. Do we have a night job we can do? I'll even take the tutoring, I don't care. Get some janitor in there. Incubus with his, uh... Amazing powers will help us get through this social link real quick. Hey, it's the old lady again. The old lady in morning garb is standing there again. Good evening. I'm sorry about what happened last time when I was staring at your face. Did I have a, a piece of lettuce stuck in it? <laughs> you just looked like someone I knew. The old woman smiles gently. Do you work here? Only part-time. I'm a high school student. Is that so? That's wonderful. I have a granddaughter about your age. She went back home today, though. Thinking about it, meeting you here is a wonder. But I won't be coming back here anymore. What were you here for? Why are you wearing black? We should meet again. This isn't a big town. We might run into each other eventually. I like to take on the sun t 
take in the sun at the riverbed when I have days off. The river sparkles so beautifully, it all feels so good, it saddens me. I'll be going now. Bye, weird old woman. You weren't there before. Oh, you're here. You a ghost? Why are you looking away? Talk about timing. That room over there needs some work done in it. Perhaps you could... Oh, whatever. Just get in there. Okay, everything's back in order. The patient who had been in this room left just a little while ago. I want you to mop the floor. Don't ask what happened here. <laughs> what what happened here? Okay. I'd rather not though. No, I can't stay in here. <laughs> I was just kidding. The patient who was here was released today. He returned right from the brink of death. He was a good patient who always listened to what I said. Plus, he was the president of this company at a young age. He was handsome, didn't complain, and independ independent. He wanted to get back to his work. Desperately. And thanks to his perseverance, he was able to leave even earlier than we had it scheduled to release him. Thank you for caring for me, he said, bowing to me so happily. Then he turned around and walked out. He said such stupid things like that he loved me. Everyone leaves. They only need me when they're my patients. In the end, they all leave me. That's just how it is. It's good they got better. Why don't you switch jobs? Uh. This is exactly why I don't like kids. They try to win arguments. Oh. Oh well. I must not have been making sense. Forget about what I was saying. I'll ask another janitor to handle this room. You go on home. The streets are dark. You shouldn't be here. You wouldn't want to get caught by me. Nice work at put, putting you into a bad move, mood. <laughs> okay. Not hang out with I if she calls. And she doesn't call. Oh. Part of me actually wanted to hang out with Forehead. Well, shit. Do I have a chariot? I don't have a chariot. See you Let's go ahead and get a quick fusion in here. Virtue. Let's see what Hanuman looks like. Ah, uh, it's fucking dumb looking. Genbu. Genbu's that thing. It's actually pretty nice. What do I have? Unicorn for my Hierophant to get a Temperance, which I already have. Just buy another one.
<laughs> what the fuck is this thing? Ah, uh, no. We'll keep auto Tarakaja. You know, that restoration would be really handy as well. Still no chariot. No chariot. Not at all, damn. A lot of hierophants, just unicorns at the ass. Alright, that's fine. And there's my dog. Yay. Give me a sec. No, I think I've, uh gone on this session for a little longer than I wanted to anyway and get a video or two out of this so uh, let's call it here and continue on next time thanks for watching